Welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market, and as you can see, I got some different stuff this time. So I have another flea market haul for you. I love my flea market. I love finding treasures and saving them. And I branched out a little this time. So I got these two items that were on my cover photo for eBay to give it a shot and see how it goes. They're not my traditional vintage, but I thought I'd show you what I picked up and why. So this is a Rocky Balboa pop culture series limited collector's edition animated figurine it is still in the box it has all of its parts it is not i wouldn't call it i'd call it like new in box only because the box has been opened so this guy i purchased for 45 dollars but um listed on ebay as of this filming they were going for 125 to 150 and on solds they were going from 90 to 130 so I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put it on there and start it at 150 because it's in really good condition the box is in great condition and with the holiday season coming I'm just gonna start it there and see how it goes it's gonna be an experiment for me this isn't something I usually pick up but I did have that experience, if you guys remember, where I picked up all the um, Miss Piggy and Kermit, and there was a Dress Me Up Kermit that was $20, and I didn't get it, and they were selling for $100 to $125 <clears throat> on eBay, so I didn't want to regret that this time. The one thing I don't know if I should do is because, like, there's a little wear to the edge of the box, but it looks like it's never really been fully out of the box. I don't know if I need to test it to see if it works, because it's not been out. Because then that would mess up the new in box, kind of. So we'll see. I got to figure it out. And then I got to figure out how I'm going to ship this sucker because that'll be interesting. So that was the first one. And she also had this one Louis Armstrong, Collector's Edition Animated Figurine, sings Hello Dolly and What a Wonderful World, Pop Culture Series. He was $35. He has been out of the box. His one arm looks like it used to have an attachment thing. Now, for this guy, I paid $30, and they're not going for as much, but there are listed ones for like $125, $130. Solds look to be in the $90 to $120 range, so I may start him at $120 on eBay and then just see how it goes. Because sometimes I'll do that, like I learned from the niche lady with special items. I might start it at one price, see how it goes, and then within six months, if it hasn't gone, like I've had things where I kind of knew what I wanted for them, and I priced it just a little bit higher, and then when I got best offers, they were actually for the price I wanted to sell it for, if that makes sense. And these are kind of specialty, unique things, so this one I am going to kind of take out of the box a little just to make sure he's not missing anything because his head is kind of turned. I want to make sure it's not damaged, but otherwise the box is in pretty good condition. There's no major damage to it. So right off the bat, those are the first two items from the flea market. Okay. And then again, out of my ballpark, I picked up this container. I like containers. I like little travel cases. This is a Dionite, D-I-O-N-I-T-E, and it's like a brown color. It's in, I'd say it's in fair to good condition. It's got a little bit of age to the latch. It looks like there may have been a key. It doesn't have the key. There's a little bit of wear to the plastic. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Allergies. So I'd say this is in the upper end of fair to good condition. But when I opened it, this is what was inside. Let's see if I can get this in frame for you. It is a travel bar kit. And I can't see if this is in frame. It has the original containers and some of the original accessories. So I paid $30 for this. I'm going to clean up the cover. I'm going to take everything out, make sure everything's nice and clean. And I will probably start this at 75 on eBay because these can go for like $90.
So with the condition and some of the pieces missing, if I can, this higher dollar one I paid up for, if I can at least double my money and cover fees, if I end up getting like 65 out of it, once fees are gone, that's about 59. I've doubled my money and that's good enough for me on this one. So that was a fun find. That was some of the bigger items. And then, hmm, oh, I got me some new Color Street nails for the fall. There's a lady I like to buy from at the flea market. She she does sell them, but uh, I got that. And then I picked up some jewelry because you guys know I went through all of my jewelry and now I'm being very selective in what I pick up. And I may be missing a piece because what happened was the lady gave it to me and it was, there was a hole in the bag and everything went flying. So I'm hoping I'm not missing something. So the first one I picked up, I thought this would be pretty for fall. And this is going to be, I think I will have already had the sale by the time you guys see this video. But I'm putting this in my October 2nd drop sale. It's all these really pretty amber beads. It's like a handmade necklace. Beautiful for fall. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, I definitely lost something. Yeah, because I paid $5 for five pieces of jewelry. And, um, yeah, something definitely fell out and I lost something. That's a shame. I think it was another cool set of earrings. Because I think I, so anyway, I got that necklace. And then I picked these up and when they fell, so these are like a resin on wood. They're clip earrings and when they fell, the back fell off, but it's still here. So I'm just gonna glue that back on. And they're like a wood and resin. I thought they were really pretty in their clip earrings. So I thought that would be cute. This is a set. It kind of just reminds me of your basic 80s jewelry. And it's the white and gold and it has the matching bracelet. So that'll be a set I'm gonna put on my Etsy and eBay shop. So I got those. And then at a different booth, I picked these up because these are clip earrings and I thought these were very fun and 80s in style with the teal and the gold. You gotta love those. I like that. And then these spoke to me because I remember having earrings like this and these are just the plastic hearts. Again, they're clip earrings, but they're teal and they're that 80s. And with Christmas coming, the people who love the 80s jewelry, I think it's, you know, pieces like that that are um, nice condition will do well. I'm really bummed because I don't know what, what, what piece I lost now. So we will have to see. So I gotta go through and inventory those. Oh, and I put them in the wrong bag so they all fell at the bottom again. Okay. So we got some jewelry and then I got this and it's like, it's a, a resin. It's just a cute little resin duck timer. So what cabin is complete without a duck timer? I'm going to put this in a drop sale, start it out there, see what y'all think. And then I'll move it to online if it's not your cup of tea, but I thought for fall, that's kind of cute. Got kind of a cabin feel. Just checking all my pockets because I stick stuff everywhere. Okay. Then I have a cord. I don't know why I have a cord in here. Oh, that's what I forgot I bought. I knew there was stuff I forgot I bought. Okay. This piece was influenced by Dolores, Miss Dan Jewelry, because she picks these up all the time in England. And I've never seen one around me until today. And it's a hand-blown little vase in this beautiful blue teal color. Can you guys see that? It's got the, and I'm gonna save it for a drop sale and offer it to you guys in a drop sale this fall because I think that'd be great for a drop sale. Then I got some handmade Halloween cards. See, there are things I forgot I bought. I don't even know what this is. And I just like went like a day or so ago, guys. Oh, yes. Okay. I don't remember why I paid for these. Okay. 
Yeah, I remember these now. These I picked up thinking they were really new. So this is a, a Lucite. It's a Lucite paperweight. And it does have some yellowing in age, but I liked the colors. I liked the fall. So again, drop sale. I'm trying to bring more of these unique items to my drop sales first. And then if they don't sell the first time, I just put them on my eBay and Etsy. That way I can keep a variety of stuff. This one's really neat because this actually has like a U.S. quarter in the bottom. And it is a 4th of July Lucite paperweight. So I thought that was pretty neat. And I might save this in my holiday section because I have a 4th of July. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet in the haul. It's a 4th of July girl and boy picnic music box. And I'm trying to collect some 4th of July stuff because I never really have that for the summer. So I think I'm going to save this for um, next 4th of July. Okay, and that might be it for that side. I'm really bummed that I lost a piece of jewelry. Okay, and then I got these two for $5. And now I am learning, guys, because I did mislabel on my Etsy shop. And a lady contacted me. She was very nice and let me know that, like, when she got the copper mold, she said it wasn't copper. She said it was aluminum copper toned. So I'm trying to learn. So this one, this one does feel more copper to me than like that kind of Taiwan aluminum, but this does say made in Taiwan. So I would list this as copper toned aluminum just because I'm not 100% sure. Now this other one is much older and it's got the zinc backing. So I would label this one copper coated zinc. Just so you know, as I learned things and like the lady had contacted me and said that, you know, it wasn't the copper coated. So I told her, you know, I gave her a full refund because I want my customers to be happy. And in that case, it was it was a learning experience for me, you know, and I'm willing to pay for that to learn to make sure I have happy customers. And you can feel a difference like this is heavy and this is very light and flimsy. So this is like a copper coated aluminum, whereas this is a older fashioned copper coated like zinc alloy thing. Okay. Then I got this guy, which I'm going to list online once I make sure it works. It's just a fun retro peachy pink Sony. So actually, I think I had this alarm clock in gray. And it's just a fun, it's a very peachy pink tone. It's very 80s. The lady told me it worked. It was only $3. I have to plug it in and test it. And then I'm going to put this on eBay actually and see how it does. Because again, I'm thinking about Christmas is coming. People are going to want unique gifts. What can I pick up to stock my shops with? Um, things like that. So that takes care of that section of things. I already know I'm going to run out of room. Okay, now I went to my box lot guy who never lets me down, and I got all the doilies, guys. This is a beautiful crocheted, if I'm saying it right. It's a giant cream and brown one. So again, this is going to go in a drop sale for fall. Love that. I have washed these already because when I got them home originally, they were musty. Then there's this pretty pink set. It's like a mauve and light pink. And I think this is crocheted as well. I'm still learning the difference between knitted and crocheted, but I think that this would be more of a, a crochet. And then look at the bright pink on this. This is like magenta. I love this. Again, beautiful for fall. We've got this piece here. Sorry, you've got, some of them are like a more of an acrylic and it's got like the flowing around. This one is really, really pretty. It does have one little, a couple little stain spots on the one side, but look at that purple. Look at that purple. And then this one, I just love kind of like that rose color. It's like the orange rose color. So it's like an orange and it's another big one. So I got all those. So keep in mind, all these doilies are the first thing in the lot. So I got all of those doilies. 
and then I'll kind of tell you what I paid at the end. And then I got all this brass. All this brass. So I'm going to, now that this bag is done, which is my trusty Newton's Cupboard shopping bag, you just email Michelle at Newton's Cupboard and she can tell you how you can purchase those. It's the only type of bag I use for the flea market because it just, it works out so well. Okay. I picked up this and I don't normally pick up souvenir trays because I know they're hard to sell, but I know people like Yellowstone and I liked the look of this one. So this is a Yellowstone National Park souvenir tray. I'm going to put that in my online store. And then I'm going to put this in a drop sale, one of my girly drop sales. It's a beautiful fan with like almost like a Bulgarian or Hungary scene on it. Black lace, amber handles. And the only thing is the lace on the top is coming off just a little bit here. There looks to be some staining on the back, but they're pretty good on this part. So. I picked that up. That there. This is going to go straight to my eBay and Etsy shop. All the brass will be posted online. The only reason I don't do brass in my drop sales is because of weight and realistically um, uh, pricing and stuff. They just sell to the larger audience better online. So all my brass goes straight to my Etsy and eBay shops. So this is a brass toothbrush holder with the fish. So I thought that was neat. It's definitely old. It's got great patina. It's got rusting on the bottom, but I think that that's a toothbrush holder. Or, you know what? This could be a pipe holder. Actually, this, I don't know, because it's got the little spots in the bottom here. It could also be like a, I don't know if that could be a pipe holder. But I picked that up. And then, this was in that lot too. It's a pretty, it's a metal, it's a cast, it's a cast metal made to look like it's got the bronze and it's got the age to the mirror, and it's just like a molded bronze tone, but it, it feels very light, like a pot metal. But I thought it was beautiful. Got that. This one I will put in a drop sale. This is something I pick up for drop sales because I know people like to decorate and accessorize with vanity piece, pieces. Excuse me. Then, now, I don't know if this is correct. I don't know a lot about these, but I got these beautiful. So these say they're they're from China, but they're really heavy brass. And I don't know if that's hand painted or enameled. I think that they're painted because there are some spots where the paint is coming off, but these are really pretty um, painted accented candlesticks. So I got those. And today was, this day was a really good day for picking. And then I got this set that I'm going to include together. You get two of the doubles. And these don't have a maiden. I've got to clean everything still. So these are like a tulip style. You get those two and the single with all the patina together. So I'm gonna sell those as a lot of three so that you can have like, you know, the two in the back and then the one in the center. I know you guys can't see that. Let's, no, you guys can't see that. So you'd have these two and then this one in between them if you wanted. Those also were in that lot with the doilies and the rest of the brass and the yellowstone. And then I got a set of four of these well, actually, there are two sets. So this is one set of beautiful, these are older, heavy. These are nice, heavy ones, complete with spider webs on the bottom. And then I got these two. So I'm going to get all these up super quick in my eBay and Etsy shop because these will be great for the holiday season. So I ended up with six doilies, the fan, the mirror, the toothbrush holder, the Yellowstone plate, one, two, three, 
four sets of brass candlesticks, everything was $40. So I thought that was a gritty, really good buy for the day. I'll definitely um, be able to make that back and then make a little bit of profit on top of it. So that was exciting to find all of those. And now I've got to stick them back in here just because I'm going to run out of room and I still have two more bags for you guys and we're 20 minutes in. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer haul if you want to pause, get a little restroom break, you know, anything like that. So then I have this goodie bag. Now this came from the thrift store on the property, which is where I got the Rocky and the, the Armstrong piece pieces. And so I picked up this mirror and it's got like, okay, so it's resin. It's one of those pink resin mirrors, um, mirror frame, pink resin frame, but it's got like that age to it. And people like to buy these and paint them up. So, um, I mean, you could sell, see it's been sold for $1.50, it's been sold for $2, it's been through flea markets and yard sales. And it's got that faux cast look and the green patina. So this is just going to go in my eBay and Etsy shop so that people like to buy these for gallery walls. They can paint them gold, they can paint them white. Beth, Carolina Princess, Sweet Tooth and Pretties, loves to paint into trains white. I tease her. Only if they're antique, I'm like, don't paint them. But we just joke. We just joke. So you can see it's got colors it's been over the years. So that's going to go online. Whoa. This, now I've been looking for purses. This one is made in China. I still thought it was cute. It's a brown satin. There is just a little mark, like glue mark right there. The chain is nice condition. And it says Bijou Turner on the inside. It's super clean with you know new year's coming and people looking for fun little vintage inspired purses and stuff i thought this would be cute to put in a little fall drop sale noting that it is made in china it's not vintage but i just thought the style was adorable and kind of retro mm, i don't know if something broke in there i hope not Okay, crinkle alert. Okay, so then I picked up this um, black amethyst style cauldron pot. I may be saying it wrong. It's got the silver overlay on the front, the tag on it. Now I've not researched this. I literally just brought this home. The bottom actually does say Smith and Smith in a cross pattern. Oh, and I can see the purple right through the bottom in the light. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can see the purple through it, but it says vintage Ellie Smith, black amethyst, Greek key bowl, footed and etched silver flowers. So someone did do a little research on it. The silver etch is coming off a bit, but it is marked sterling. So it's a sterling silver etch on this. But you can see where it's wearing off at the top. So I picked that up and I think I've cleaned out all the black amethyst she had now. I also picked up this little, just a little simple, now that I look at it, it might be a bear. I thought it was a cat. You guys let me know what you think. Bear or cat? Just a little glass paperweight. Cause I like those. This is the one that I'm hoping isn't broken. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay guys. I'm basically just going to show you like this. I bought a lot of cookie cutters. So I think they were two for a dollar and I paid $12. So I got like 25 cookie cutters, 24, 25. So I am going to put these into lots. But um, let me see if I've got some really cool ones to show you. There's a, okay, so like this one isn't it's an aluminum copper it's aluminum coated copper it's super duper light as compared to like the look of this one you can see the difference there's hearts there's some little 
flower shapes. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in a, like one big lot. There's like a little bird and do them as an auction on eBay. There's a number four. There's some little tiny baby ones. A little moon. A little flower. A little snowman shape. Just, you know. Because I know um, there's a seven, so you can do four, seven, or 47. It's a little nine, 49. Ooh, there's a two. So we got two, four, seven, and nine. Then there's just all these little tiny baby shape ones. I might break these up a little bit. They've got like all little like playing card. This one's really nice. There's some flower ones in here. There's like a little bit of farmhouse with the horse in the barn. A little gingerbread girl. So I just, I just bought the whole, the whole, uh, the whole basket because I thought it'd be fun to just have a variety of them and do them up as a lot. So that's what was rattling, making me think it was glass. And I'm going to move along here because, oh, this was my favorite item. Look at this beautiful um, Shawnee bird pitcher, a little chickadee creamer, beautiful blue coloring. Gold is in nice condition. No major chips or cracks. Really pretty. That'll be going in my online store. Then I got a fridgy dish. It does have a little dishwasher wear, but I really like the color and the lid has no chips, cracks or damage. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So this is the Friggy dish and you can see it does have some of the dishwasher wear to the edge, but it has no chips, cracks or damage. So someone who likes the blue color might still, might still want this. And if not, I'll just learn to use it myself. So I picked that up. It's got the lid and everything. And then the last thing I got, and I don't know if these are all, I may just take one out if this, I don't know if this whole, whole bag is them or not. It might be. Okay, so this whole bag is the same item. So that whole bag is these. And I believe the label called them check. They're marked handcrafted in Romania. So these are black Romanian fluted glasses. I'm insane for buying them, trying to ship them, but you know, holiday season's coming and people are going to be looking for drinkware, fancy barware. And this is elegant and different. So that's it guys. I really thought I had more than that, but yeah, that was my haul. So that was another epic trip to the flea market. I'm on sabbatical for a week or two from the flea market um, just to uh, save up a bit for more fun trips ahead. But if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you let me know what your favorite items were, what you were surprised that I picked up or what you might not have, or if you learned anything. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and I'll be back with you all soon.